Hi guys, in this video, I'm gonna show you how good readers identify the narrator of a story and how that character helps shape the story. When an author plans out a story, they don't just make it up on the spot and just think, oh, this is gonna be about this character. No, they take a lot of time to think and craft out that character and decide who is the best person to tell this story. What are the best traits? What's the best background information I need for this character to truly tell this story? Now, another term you need to know is POV or point of view. Point of view is what is the lens that that character is using to tell this story? Okay, whose point of view are we hearing? Whose perspective are we hearing in this story? One of my favorite all-time book series is Harry Potter. Harry Potter has a great main character you get everything from Harry's perspective. Now, the story would be completely different if it was told from another character's perspective. For example, if the story was told from uh, Ron Weasley's perspective or Hermione Granger's perspective, the story would be very different. Another book I really enjoy is The Hunger Games, uh, and the main character is Katniss Everdeen. Now, you get a lot of perspective in this story because it's all told from Katniss's perspective. So you get all of her background, you get everything that makes her an interesting character helps drive the story. Then you have an author like Rick Riordan. Rick Riordan really likes to not just have one main perspective in the story, one point of view. Rick Riordan likes to have alternating storylines going on. So for example, in my favorite of his books, The Red Pyramid, this is about Sadie and Carter, their brother and sister, and the story actually alternates between the two storylines. And so one chapter may be from Carter's perspective, one chapter is from Sadie's perspective. Authors take a lot of time to craft that out and develop that so you get a good idea of what's going on in the story. So when you read a story, you've got to identify who's telling that story and why did the author choose that person to, to tell the story? How would the story be different if someone else was telling that story? These are questions that you should have in your mind as you're reading, as you're identifying who is that narrator, what's their point of view, and how does that help shape the story? Now that's all I've got for today. Until next time, book four and be awesome. Bye guys.